Welcome to Philadelphia, our nation's first capital and the fifth largest city in America. Philly boasts a top-notch culinary experience, a culturally diverse art scene, and boatloads of tourist attractions that are great for all ages. For the history buff who wants to get a little wild on the weekends, Philadelphia is the perfect stop for you. After a day walking the streets with Thomas Jefferson, Ben Franklin, and Betsy Ross, you're just steps away from checking out the city's more modern side. And what about student life in the city of brotherly love? Firmer's Travel Guides says, There are more colleges and universities in and around Philadelphia than in any other major city in America. A valid student ID will get you reduced prices all around town, and that leaves us with the perfect opportunity for a travel lesson. Welcome to Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. Our tip is to start your day in Old City. That's the section of Philadelphia close to the Delaware River between Front and Sixth Streets, bordered by the Vine Street Expressway to the north and Walnut Street to the south. If you're taking SEPTA or PATCO in for the day, get off at Market East Station and it's a simple walk straight down market to get there. Print out a map in advance, just in case you're worried you'll get confused. The Old City neighborhood of Philadelphia is home to the Liberty Bell, Independence Hall, and the Constitution Center. The Visitor Center here is a great place to find informational pamphlets, maps, and even coupons that will help you find your way around the city. Walking through to see the Liberty Bell is free to all visitors and doesn't require getting a ticket in advance. It's open 9 to 5 daily, and all you need is a quick check from security to see this historical artifact. Over my shoulder, you'll see Independence Hall, where the United States Constitution was signed. For this particular site, you do need tickets, but they are free. However, they only have a certain number each day, so try to get here early. It was in the assembly room of this building that George Washington was appointed Commander-in-Chief in 1775, and the Declaration of Independence was adopted on July 4th, 1776. About a 10 minute walk from where the Declaration of Independence was originally signed is Elfrith's Alley, the acclaimed first residential street in our nation. With homes dating back to the mid 18th century, walking the streets feels like stepping back in time. While donations are welcomed by the Elfrith's Alley Association, walking the street is free to all. Pose for a photo on the cobblestone streets or stop inside the Alley's Museum to see what it looks like inside these colonial homes. Just remember, these houses are still privately owned, so don't disturb these native Philadelphians too much. If historical sites and tourist spots aren't really your thing, then take a short 15 minute walk from Old City Philadelphia and you'll hit the more eclectic world of South Street. The thrift and record shops here won't disappoint, and every college kid has to make a stop inside Condom Kingdom, even if just to giggle at their rather interesting decorations. Grab something to eat at Johnny Rockets, or get a classic Philly cheesesteak from Jim's. If you make it all the way down the street, you can catch a great view of the Delaware River, inside of the Benjamin Franklin Bridge, and the Battleship New Jersey. While South Street is definitely fun to explore, with a lot of great food options close by, no trip to Philly is complete without a stop at Reading Terminal Market. Reading Terminal Market is an enclosed public market located at 12th and Art Street in Philadelphia. Here there are hundreds of vendors that offer cheap food and meal prices to visitors daily. Reading Terminal Market is regularly open 8 to 6 on Monday through Saturday and 9 to 4 on Sundays. Keep an eye out for $7 meal deals at a lot of the vendors. And don't be drawn away by the long lines. They move fast and there's open seating scattered around if you want to grab a table. Philadelphians say this market gives off a small town feel in the big city life. Some of the vendors here have even been around since the market opened in 1893.
If you took the train into the city, get off at Suburban Station to explore the museum district along the parkway. This area is home to the Franklin Institute, Natural History Museum, and the Free Library. At the end of the parkway is where you'll find one of the most important parts of the entire city, the Rocky Steps. I've always wanted to do this, and I've never run up the steps, so... Okay, okay, ready? Wait, can we get the music? Can we get... Okay, okay. If you, if you want to go ahead, I'll, I can just catch up with you later. I mean, that was a, that was a lot of steps. I just came up. Okay, but let's be real. The steps made famous in the Rocky movies actually lead up to the Philadelphia Museum of Art, one of the oldest and most well-known art museums in the entire country. There are rooms and rooms of history in this building, and it's more than just your typical art museum. Look at medieval architecture structures from the UK or old weapons from Spain. There are tapestries, sculptures, and so many historical paintings and objects to check out. Tickets into the museum are regularly $12 for students with a valid ID and $16 for adults. The Art Museum is open Tuesdays to Sundays from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. As a college student, a great way to save money is to visit the Art Museum on the first Sunday of the month. That's when tickets are pay as you will. I'd still suggest giving them a donation of about $5 per person, because trust me, it's well worth it. If you'd like to find out more information on student discounts and things to do in the city, visit www.campusphilly.org.